Hi there everyone, this is uh, Kibbo and welcome back to the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Sorry, Special Edition. Obviously Edition is a very hard word to pronounce. So, where we left off, we had just gotten our first crew member for the voyage of rescuing Malay Island Governor Elaine Marley. Ma Marley? Marley? I don't know. So now we need to find more, I suppose. Can't really crew a ship with just two people. Especially since one of them is a captain. And that's me, obviously. Let's see if we can't convince the uh, Swordmaster. Master, watch your face. Carla, I think. Maybe now that she's actually not the salt master oh, anymore. Got the t shirt. What do you want now? Whoa, chill. The governor's been kidnapped. What? That's ridiculous. I was not. Oh no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Well, that was kinda easy. So that's two down. Two and a half if you count Otis. The prisoner from jail, obviously. Bolted the second we let him loose. So I can't really think of anyone else, seeing how I tried those circus pirates um, back in the city and. Um, they weren't really interested. Well, let's see if we can get a ship and... If anything, that you'd tell us, if, tell us if we need to do anything else. Howdy! Oh, wow. I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels. And I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. Well... So tell me, <laughs> what are you interested in looking at today? Look at those signs. Asses. Fuel economy. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't really have it a lot to spend. I'm not sure how much I have, I really but... have that much to spend. Probably no not enough. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. What is going on with this jacket? This here is the famous Sea Monkey. The only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything? You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Trademark. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Malay Island Trademark. without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. 
Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Sorry. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Just how much were you looking to spend today? Um... 174 pieces of eight. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that's not well, enough. No more than 174 pieces of eight. Look, this is a very reasonably priced ship, but not that reasonable. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? I'm gonna guess that a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle is not enough. Maybe well, actually, on credit? I was to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. Nope. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing wrong with being indecisive, even if it is a waste of my time. So, what else can I show you? Hmm. Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. Let's go see if we can obtain a credit from... I forgot to give what you the? my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. Oh. So off to the village. I've got my eye on you, boy. Steal anything and I break your legs. Okay. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, I. Uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Oh, so maybe now we need to use the safe. Let's see what he does. Oh. I wonder if that was the combination of the safe? I'm probably not gonna remember Let's that. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I'm a grog-swilling, foul-smelling pirate. Foul-smelling, yes. Grog-swilling, maybe. But a pirate? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come back when you got some tattoos or a peg leg or at least an eye patch for crying out loud. But I finished the pirate trials. Just never got formally accepted. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I think I can remember that one. So we should what probably send him off to find the Swordmaster. I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike <clears throat> all the way Excuse over me. there again. Be right back. Even though she told him not and to come back. Anything. Okay, let's see if we can get this working. So, first. And I suppose I should push it then. Uh. Hmm. Yatsi. There's nothing in here but this note. What's with the music anyway? Okay, so we have the credit note, I think. I, the good and honorable storekeeper, do hereby take liability for the debts of the bearer of this note for any amount up to 5,000 pieces of eight. Ruby. Then all the way back to the harbor dock. No harbor. Say what? Used Ship Emporium. Neat name. Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. Yes, can we move on? something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it! I knew it! Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it, hmm? How much would you like to spend? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Right. Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's move on. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 10,000 pieces of eight. Oh, How man. does that sound to you? Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Defoggers? 
I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg. Pretty sure Titanic didn't have uh, the porthole defogus. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. I remember this part sure, actually. Uh, throw I should probably tell you. Safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? We are actually haggling right now. And every time I tell him I can live without some particular piece of junk, the price goes down. A I think I can live bit. without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that Oops. particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Let's see what he thinks well, what it's, do you think worth? it's worth. You could sail this puppy away today now we're getting somewhere. for just 8,650 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now, wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week. So you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. Let's talk extras. Did I tell you about the tachometer? If I recall correctly, I have to get down below 7,000 pieces of eight before he'll accept any offer I make him. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more! Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from Burgundy Wine? Elevator? Asks? I think I can live without that particular what? piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent. An elevator in a ship? But wait, there's more. That doesn't even make sense, Stan. I tell you about this simulated wood siding? Simulated wood doesn't really sound safe. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defogger? Yes, you did. Enough about extras already. Okay, well, let's where were we? see where we are. The price. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away oh. today for just 6,300 pieces of eight. How this actually goes a lot faster than I remember. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight. Okay, okay. Yes, nice. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was going to give my children Christmas presents this Oh, year. shut up. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll oh, some the impression the that you were the I boss. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget what? your crew. 
All three of them. How does he even know I have a crew? Well, I guess that's it. And since he said three crew members, that probably means that Odysseus is on board as well. But well, let's go figure it out. See what happens. Sweet. Close your hey, mouth, Stan. It's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. Whoa. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. What's going on with this uh, foot? Moment here. Stand still, stand. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I you sell what? something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Fantastic. Luck, um, I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Oh, there's an Otis. Hey, long time no see. Sweet. Otis, I thought I'd never see you again. Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Huh? Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? No. Is it true what I heard about you and the storekeeper? <laughs> Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we going to get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Uh, where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's um, going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Sweet. Through the courageous leadership of Captain Free uh, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. Oh. First of all, they even got the sails up. I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. But, but that's uh, mutiny. I'm doomed. Okay, guys, I am actually gonna end this episode right here. I know it's kind of a short episode compared to what I've actually been doing, but um, yeah, let's cut it off here at uh, chapter two of The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye.